Hey everyone, today with a Twin Terror Twitch comp. Twin Terror is the new augment that replaced Double Trouble. Instead of giving a raw AD and AP, Twin Terror instead gives HP, attack speed, and crit chance. This makes the augment not amazing on tanks, but works particularly well on executioners because of how crit chance overflows into damage. So if you ever get offered this augment, it might be time to embrace your inner rat. It's really important to scout when you take this augment, because you really do not want to be contested. I should definitely buy Headliner Jinx. She'll save me HP now, doesn't cost me gold, and I'll go away sell her later when I want to twitch. Open Fording, what a lovely meta. I'm not convinced that I'm supposed to be using Punk Rolls on stage 2. I think it's just too bad for my econ. Even though I bought this Vex, I'm somehow still able to make 10. I'll take a free win. Sword is very nice. Technically, Giant Slayer is Twitch's best item, but I'd rather make IE and save the bow for red buff. They don't have any damage, I actually might win this. And that's the high roll I was looking for when I didn't buy Jinx Headliner. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure Executioner Twitch is stronger than Punk. Oh god. Pretty sure I'm losing my streak to Senna. For Twitch items, I'm looking for Red Buff and either Giant Slayer or Guard Breaker. With this chain, I want Gargoyles or Steadfast Heart. So this game, I'm going to end up playing 4 Punk, so it's value over Jinx for more frontline. Interesting. Where did that tome come from? It's never rich get richer. I don't know if Remember Your Roots even works with Twin Terror. Return on investment just makes sense in a reroll comp. Plus it helps me fit in extra copies. I'm not losing to Ginsu's quirky. The board I'm looking to play is Double Twitch, Double Vex, Vi, Pantheon, and Amumu. Yone 1 isn't a threat. Glove makes Guard Breaker.
Dark Pikmin is very good on Twitch. There's no need to greed for Giants there. Because of 4 Punk, this 1 star Pantheon is already better than Lilia, even without Twin Terror. That's a chunky Gragas. Although it might be tempting to roll in 7 to get better Vex and Amumu odds, Twitch and Pantheon 3 are kind of necessary to stabilize to be able to find Vex 3. They have true damage spat on bench, there's zero chance they stay on Samira. And now I just start slow rolling for my units. I would rather not make Bramble, so Crown Guard it is. Poor guy's three rods on bench. The Executioner Augment Exposed Weakness is the best possible augment, but I'll settle for a little healing. I'm going to roll below 50, just to proc return on investment. Since Vex is zero items, I think the extra frontline from Double Pantheon is better. If you're not going to put True Damage Spot on Ari, they should just save the spat for KDA or Jazz. Without 3 stars, I'm going to start losing fights. Six Sentinel Ari. Yay, what a cool comp. I'll take a Pantheon. Slow rolling is going to cost me too much HP. I'm going to go to 30 and try to hit at least one upgrade. I don't want to go to 0 because I need enough gold to hit Vex 3. I definitely need even shot if there are Sentinel players. Little Buddies it's incredible for TF. Too bad he only has one item. I'm down to roll to 30 each turn. Once I get items on Vex, melee matchups should be unlosable. Still looking for Gargoyles or Steadfast Heart on Pantheon. Then I'm looking for Vex items. Adaptive Helm is very good on Vex, but I think it's just Gargoyles and Archangels. Time to roll for Twitch 3. And level to get in an extra Vex. They have Headliner Ez, 
But the rest of their board is pretty weak. And now I just Econ a bit before going for Vex 3. They only have 2 true damage in, plus it looks like they're trying to go 9. Let's make sure no one's hitting a 3 star 4 cost. I should probably be looking out for Aries. Typically, Vex does very well into Yone. Ah, she missed her ult. I guess Crown Guard gives some AP? I don't really see a reason to roll down yet. They're so strong. Level 9 with Alawi and Sona too. When I have I don't mind rolling. Huge upgrade. Let's see if I'm strong enough to break through 6 Sentinel Frontline. Oh, I love a mana item on Vex. Little late for a duplicator. I guess it's just Nashers, because I can play the Zix for MR Shred. Okay, I'm on the same side as Yone this time. Should be a lot better for me. I don't want my Twitch in either corner, because I don't want him to get ulted by TF or Caitlyn. Let's see if this matchup got any better. I want my Vex in the middle to hit Akali and Kiana. Watch their frontline just melt. TG is good for a copy. Allow is fantastic. You should always play her if you have the chance. I guess I'm just gonna sit and go 9. Let's see if last fight was a ghost diff. That's GG. I would definitely say this comp is forcible with Gun Terror. Thanks for watching.